Arrested last night, he's been charged with running a drug house and providing meth to a man who survived an overdose last week. Two other men have previously died of similar overdoses in Buck's apartment. Now, if convicted, he could face more than five years in prison. NBC Simone Boyce is following this story. And Simone, run us through what allegedly happened last week in Buck's apartment. Allison, prosecutors are alleging Ed Buck injected a 37-year-old man with a large dose of methamphetamine, and it gets worse from there. They also say that Ed Buck refused to offer this man help when it looked like he was overdosing, which then led this 37-year-old man to flee the apartment, and then he seems like he was forced to call 911 from a nearby gas station. So that's why Ed Buck is facing charges of battery, administering methamphetamine, mean and operating a drug den. So how has his attorney, uh, attorney rather, responded to those allegations? Have we heard anything from them? Allison, as far as I know, we haven't heard anything from his attorney this time. Now, in relation to those other two overdose deaths that are connected to Ed Buck, the attorney in the past has implied that Ed Buck was not responsible for those deaths. And it, in fact, his attorney went as far to suggest that Ed Buck was actually helping these vulnerable individuals who are struggling with drug addiction get back on their feet. So, Simone, we've heard some uh, conflicting stories. You mentioned those two other men who died under similar circumstances in Buck's apartment the last couple of years. Advocates of them have long accused Buck. Uh, they say he's someone who allegedly pressures men to do drugs. Uh, is there a reason it's taken so long for us to see any sort of legal action here? Well, this is a huge development for those two men, for, those, for their families, because this is the kind of action that their families and the activists who have been supporting them have been wanting to see from District Attorney Jackie Lacey. And if you talk to the activists and the victims' families, they would say that they think the reason why we haven't seen much action or, or, or urgency is because of what these two victims look like. They were both two black gay men with a history of drug use, and they say that the uh, district attorney really didn't feel a sense of urgency because of those, because of the profile of those men. And after the first death that we saw in 2017, the death of Jamel Moore, prosecutors said that they didn't have enough evidence to bring charges against Ed Buck. What could be different different this time is that we have a man who actually survived an overdose. So this is a man that could potentially testify in court. So we know Buck is a well-known Democratic donor. What's the party saying about all this? You know, we haven't heard anything directly from party leadership in the past. We have seen some of the the politicians that Ed Buck has donated to try to distance themselves from him, and some of them have actually returned those donations that they received from him to charity. And that is some of what we're seeing uh, today on Twitter from Democrats trying to distance themselves from Ed Buck. But we are awaiting further word from party leadership, Allison. All right, Simone Boyce in Los Angeles. Thank you so much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.